Hospitals in Tokyo have almost reached capacity as COVID-19 infections surge. The city has raised the alert level for its healthcare system to its highest setting. And there's a warning that the medical system is under severe strain. There are 822 new infections in the city, another record high. Michio Ishida reports. Hospitals are being overwhelmed with a rising number of COVID-19 patients. At one point, there were 2,000 patients at hospitals in Tokyo treated for COVID-19. Hospitals are unable to treat patients with other illnesses, according to Tokyo's panel of experts. The metropolitan government is asking hospitals to increase beds for those in severe conditions to 250 and those in moderate conditions to 3,750. It's opening more facilities where those with mild or no symptoms can recuperate. Tokyo's panel of experts say during the past week, 3,380 tested positive. 22 percent were those without symptoms. The top age group infected are those in their 20s, followed by those in their 30s and 40s. But they warn more and more above the age of 65 are testing positive. Experts say if the number of new cases continue to rise at this pace, it will double in four weeks. Tokyo is calling for its residents to avoid throwing big year-end parties with corporate colleagues and friends, as is the custom at the end of the year. Instead, to dine in small groups with your families and friends you regularly meet. The panel says it's during meals COVID-19 is spreading the most. And it's seen as a warning also towards Prime Minister Yoshida Suga, who dined with more than eight people and was forced to apologize. On Monday, Mr. Suga suddenly decided to exclude Tokyo from a government-subsidized travel campaign. He called for a nationwide suspension of the campaign from December 28th to January 11th. This doesn't mean the central government is banning travel altogether. But medical experts discourage Tokyo residents from visiting their parents, grandparents, and rural areas during the holidays. If they want to pay for a good 2021, experts recommend paying their respect online rather than visiting shrines and temples in person. Michio Ishida, CNA, Tokyo.